When we audit new brands, we often come across people that have keywords running that definitely should be paused. Maybe they did good a few years ago, but they haven't got around to pausing it and it's costing them a lot of money. So if you get to that point and you want to automate the process, Scale Insights status rule will allow you to do that. It means that you don't have to be going in and doing it yourself. Although we'd recommend you do it in some degree manually, but for the obvious ones, you can automate the process. Let me show you how. I'm Brandon Jason, Kickstarter PPC. We're an Amazon PPC agency and Scale Insights partner. We've been using Scale Insights to make sure things are done in the proper way and in the way that we optimize. Now, before you set up the rule, what you wanna do is look at your trigger sequence and criteria profile. Make sure you have the right stuff in place. So such as, is it getting a 90% ACOS with barely any sales, a lot of spend, or is it getting no sales and it's getting a lot of spend? Whatever it is, come up with your criteria, come up with a few different types of criteria because in some cases you're gonna need based on a couple of different options. Now. This isn't something I would be using for where, where you've got something that runs at a 50% ACoS, it's not performing as it normally does. Potentially some optimization could do the trick. And pausing isn't always gonna be the solution, but in some cases, it's the best option, especially for things that aren't relevant. Now to set up the rule, relatively straightforward, go in here, set up your name as you normally do, select your criteria profile, campaign status, so what you want to do is set it to pause. As long as the campaign's paused, then it's all good to go. And based on that, you can set a priority list and then create. To get it all linked properly, all you need to do is select the ad group as you would, select the rule and click assign. Then you're good to go. But do keep in mind, you do need the automated ASINs to be switched on. If they're not switched on, you're going to struggle to run these rules. Before you set up this rule, it's important to know you should be only doing this for things that automatically you'd pause if you're optimizing it yourself. In some cases, optimizing the keyword is gonna be better than just pausing it immediately. There might be an opportunity to get some placements on that keyword, rank for it, and have some benefit. But obviously, if you need to pause the keyword, then that's something you should look at doing. Now, when it comes to setting these rules, I would be more strict than other ones. And the reason is, if you pause something that maybe could do well, then that could hurt your business. So you need to look at certain keywords that you wanna be running. Maybe you wanna take in a manual approach to some of these keywords, but in some cases, this could be a good fit. We hope you enjoy the content, found it useful, and we're able to implement some of these rules on your Scale Insights account. If you need more help with your Amazon PPC, Scale Insights, check our content out. We've got tons of content out here that will help you out if you're a Scale Insights or Amazon PPC user. If you need help with your Amazon PPC that goes beyond our training videos, contact us below, kickstartppc.com. We'll help you out and find a way to sort your brand out. Until next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.